Hey guys, Andre here. Today I'm making a supplemental video to the version 3 PCV Fix Kit install video. I wanted to make a more error free way to install this plug in the intake manifold. And I noticed that the butyl rubber, if you got it dirty or if you got any oil on the rubber while you're using it, like if your hands are dirty or if you had any oil on your screwdriver or the plug itself, then it wouldn't stick very well. It also wouldn't stick very well in the cold. So I switched to using these glue dots instead and I'm going to show you how to do this. So the first thing you need to do is you need to make sure everything is clean. You still need to make sure that you get all the oil, any grease, dirt off of your screwdriver. In this case I'm using a half inch by three inch, I mean one eighth by three inch long screwdriver. You want to make sure you clean the head just for good measure. I like using isopropyl alcohol but you can use brake clean or whatever. Just wipe it down with a rag to make sure everything is totally clean. And of course wash your hands to make sure you have no grease on them. So the first thing I'll show you again is where you're going to be installing this plug. If you didn't watch the version 3 fix kit install video yet, go ahead and watch that first before you get to this part. So what we're doing is we're installing that plug that I showed you over there into the intake manifold right around there. If you can see where that that hole is in the center with the little hole surrounding it, that hole in the center is where we're going to be pushing this little plug through. So we want to lower it down into that port and push it in without getting it lost inside. Now, the best way to do this is, of course, using these glue dots. So, first thing we want to do is we want to attach the adhesive to the clip. So, pull back the white layer and grab the plug and stick it somewhere right around the center and then put some firm pressure on it on the other side. Next, we'll be using the screwdriver to kind of peel back some of the adhesive off of this backing because it doesn't really want to come off on its own. And this is what we're left with. Get some of the adhesive and get the edges inward if you've got any sticking out. Apologies, it's kind of hard to see what I'm doing when I'm taking taking a video. You've got this flat edge over here. Make sure the flat edge is sticking up toward the handle of the screwdriver. But the screwdriver flat edge right around the center and press down firmly. Hold that down there for uh, I'd say a few seconds, 10 seconds or so and then pull it off. Now this stuff is going to be a lot more tacky, a lot more sticky than the butyl rubber was so you can actually bang it around a little bit and it's not going to come off because if I try to pull this off slowly you can kind of see it's attached pretty strongly. Okay. All right. Next thing you, you'll want to do is do a dry run. So what I mean by that is don't put the epoxy on the clip first. You can start mixing it right about now because it's going to take about 10 to 15 minutes to set and in that time you can play around with it and make sure you can find the hole you're supposed to be plugging up. So again, as before, you're riding the bottom of the port with the screwdriver as you're going down. If you're catching some of that, some of that adhesive, just kind of pull it back so it doesn't stick to the port as you're doing this. You're riding the port on the way down and then you're going to gently push forward, and by forward I mean that way, as you're lifting the screwdriver back out until you find the port. Now if you don't find it, pull it back and make sure that you're centered parallel with the port. Back down all the way to the bottom, push forward and lift up. And there it is, I just found it. So I'll do this again from the side so you guys can see kind of what I'm doing here. So you want to go in, right in the bottom, push it forward and lift up slowly. And you're pushing very gently here, okay? and I found it right there. You can kind of see where that step was. So if I do it again, I'm down to the bottom and it snaps in right there. Again, you're going to, be want, to, you're going to want to be very gentle uh, doing this because you don't want to actually push the clip in there because you might not be able to get out and you need the epoxy on there. Once you have the epoxy on there, mix it up, kind of put a big dab around it like I showed in the uh, version 3 fix it install video and um, when you have it installed and you push it all the way through, once it's pushed all the way into that hole, you'll want to lift up on the screwdriver. Don't pull it back out. Just lift up like so and the adhesive will stay stuck to the head of the clip and that's not going anywhere. Hopefully this will help anybody who was having any concerns about getting that plug lost inside the intake manifold. This, uh, these glue dots, these are the permanent glue dots and they are very tacky, very sticky and it's very, very unlikely it's going to come off of this screwdriver without you wanting it to. I'm going to be including two dots in these kits just so you make sure that you can play around with one and uh, you can make sure you are successful with the second one if you want or if you end up getting one of them dirty, just have another one just in case. 
All right, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments or shoot me a message on the form on the website. There's a contact form at the bottom of the homepage and I respond to all questions that are emailed there. Or just give me a phone call and uh, we can chat about it. Anything you guys need, let me know. Uh, thanks for watching this video, guys, and have a great day.